3 Weather Lab. Here's Daniel's True View forecast. Welcome back everyone. Beautiful weather out there across Acadiana today and it looks like that's going to be the case as we move forward into the weekend as well. A lot of sunshine out there for Saturday. Sunday we start to see the changes arriving. We'll get into all that and what that means for your extended forecast here in a bit. First though, a look at the satellite and radar picture. You've got clouds out over towards the west. Things are going to become a little more unsettled westward uh, over the next couple of days. This is where we're going to see that next storm system start to develop. It's going to take a little while before it gets here though. In the meantime, we're going to be dealing with nice sunny skies. You can see that it's clear certainly overnight tonight and it's going to be staying clear getting into tomorrow as well. A lot of sunshine here over the next couple of days. Beautiful weather. In fact, coming up for your Saturday, no real complaints, no real problems out there at all. Temperatures been on the chillier side. Those of you who have evening plans, if you're going to be out late tonight, you'll want to make sure that you plan accordingly. We made our way up into the upper 60s today. We got around 66, 67 degrees. Right now in Lafayette, we're at about 64. Opelousas, you guys are in the 50s and going to continue to fall as we go through the rest of the night. Eventually, we'll see those lows get down to about 50 or right around 42 degrees, lower 40s range. 62 out over through New Iberia right now at 60 down closer towards Pecan Island. And we'll see temperatures start dropping quite quickly now. We have all those clear skies. There's nothing really to trap in any of that, any of that warmth, any of that heat that we built up during the day. So again, expect a pretty big change in temperatures as we get into early tomorrow morning. You see it drops down into the lower 40s. We'll be at about 46 for 8 o'clock tomorrow. Nice sunny skies, maybe a few high level clouds working their way across the area, but that's going to be about it. No major problems. A little bit of a breeze coming out of the southwest tomorrow, 5, 10 miles an hour. That's going to be about it. But as we continue to see those winds coming from the south, that that means more and more moisture is in place. You're not going to see much of that early Sunday morning, but by Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, you're going to get more and more cloud cover to work its way into the area. And then once the clouds are here, they stay locked in for quite a while. We're going to have cloudy skies going all the way through. This is Monday morning. Winds are going to be picking up, getting into early parts of the work week because we've got that storm system that's going to be coming through. So let's take a look at this extended model here. This takes us all the way through up into Monday afternoon. Winds are going to be coming in out of the south. They'll start to pick up. Up. Quite breezy out there for your Monday and Tuesday. A lot of clouds with maybe a few showers arriving by Tuesday afternoon. We'll keep it at about a 30-40% chance for some rainfall Tuesday afternoon. Everything would be very, very scattered. The main event doesn't arrive until Wednesday. I think it's going to be later in the day Wednesday. This is Wednesday morning. People starting to wake up for work. You'll see some showers out over through northern Louisiana. The showers start to get going for us sometime around lunch into the afternoon. And I think that getting into Wednesday afternoon right in central Louisiana, let's call it Rapides Parish northwards and then on over towards Jackson, you may get a corridor of some severe weather setting up. Now that's going to be right on our doorstep and this is days away. So there's going to be a lot of tweaking and changing to the forecast over the next couple days. But that will kind of be the, the time to watch here as you keep up with the forecast over the weekend. After that moves through, everything clears out. We've got another cool down, not quite as cold as it has been the last couple of nights towards the end of next week, but it will certainly be feeling chilly outside and those winds will start to pick up. As I mentioned, as that front swings through, we may have the chance for some severe weather. This is going to change certainly over the next couple days. Kind of watch how this evolves. I think that the area of concern probably going to be north Louisiana getting into southern parts of Arkansas. For tonight, very, very quiet. 42 degrees for your low, nearly calm conditions out there. We'll have clear skies throughout the course of the night and into tomorrow. 70 degrees for your high sunny the next couple of days with clouds arriving late Sunday and then continuing up into early parts of next week. Another cool down there towards the end, uh, but not quite as cold. It's going to be very spring like here this mm -hmm. weekend. Really, really pretty weekend. Really excited about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. spring is almost here. Yeah, uh, today was hard to come into work. It was so hard. <laughs> I feel like it should be a mandatory holiday okay. when especially in Louisiana when you've got those mid 60s sunshine, mm -hmm. no humidity. At least one day and especially well, we on a Friday. A, right. I mean, we only get a couple of them. It should be like a reverse snow day. Sounds like a good, <laughs> good platform there right. for uh, Phillips running for something. Right. <laughs>